if you live in the middle of nowhere and you need something that can handle the mud and the grass, well, you can always drive a tank. <laughs> okay, maybe a tank is a little <laughs> over the top. What about something that can go on the road? Oh God! If you ever feel like driving four and a bit hours outside Dublin, Killarney is the place to go. Its stunning landscapes are like something out of the Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones. And while I didn't have a tank to drive around its incredible mountain ranges, I had something better, the new VW Touareg. First things first, the positives. Ooh, it's luxurious. Even something as so simple as the uh, leather here that is threaded perfectly, absolutely symmetrically, all the way around. It looks beautiful. There's all the modern tech that you would expect from a very modern car, such as radar guided cruise control, hill descent, all the different types of modes like sport, off-road, snow. It's a manly engine. It makes a manly noise. It kicks you in the back of the arse. Uh, but it's also really good low down. For instance, when you're cruising on the motorway at 120 kilometers an hour, this is merely idling at about 1500 RPM. What's this, hailstones? In the city, it's actually quite easy to drive. You can see out everywhere, it's got glass, wherever there can be glass. Yeah, it's hailstones. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily feel like a big car. Wow, we just drove in to what can only be described as a hailstorm. Maybe we might have to cut it here so that I don't crash while I'm trying to do the piece to camera, yeah? I've never felt more like Killarney was trying to stop me from filming a review because it's about to lash raining and then it's really sunny then it lashes raining again. Anyway, this is the Orline version of the Touareg. So you're looking at uh, way more than 250 brake horsepower from the 3 litre turbo diesel engine. I gotta say, it looks nice. It's a bit boring but not in a boring way. Does that make sense? Like, look at the front. I just mean it's not shouty. It's not saying, I'm an SUV, like maybe the Alfa Romeo or the Lamborghini Jeeps. Like, for instance, the lights are in here, but they're really far back. They're way inside there. So what you just have here is lateral sort of lines. And not a big bulgy bonnet either. It's nice. I like it. This is the secret to the Touareg. It's beautiful in here. Everything is so comfortable. There's a massive screen. It's sort of like the Tesla with that huge iPad-like screen in the center console. All the stitching is incredibly neat and really, really clean. There's different modes for the seat position, radar guided cruise control, the semi-automatic gearbox, the flappy paddles. Everything is just nicely laid out, classy, handsome. The third generation Touareg starts from about 65,000 euro. You can go all the way up. This particular car is 86 grand. Stuff like the metallic paint is around 1,000 euro. So if you could spare 86 grand, the VW Touareg Orline is fairly tempting. I can already feel the rain, so I'm gonna end it there. I'll see you next time, good luck. <laughs> it's gonna lash. Dublin's 98 FM.